Hello NR programmers. In this video we're going to learn how to make a really simple, very beginner friendly JavaScript quiz game. So let's get right into the code. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Um, first of all we're just going to start off by setting up a very simple um, borderplate HTML page with some basic code. Um, next, we're going to come in here, and we're just going to go ahead and link our JavaScript file. So let's go ahead and come and do that here. Close out our script. Now let's come over here and add our source. Name.js. And now let's head on over to our JavaScript file. <coughs> Um, and then from here, first thing we're going to start off by doing is having a question bank. And all this is going to be is an array of objects. So we're going to come here, and, and in each object, it's only going to have two keys, one for question and one for answer. So let's go ahead and finish filling up these questions right here. Cool. Now that we have our question bank set up, um, next we're just going to set up a loop that's going to go ahead and iterate through our question bank. So we're going to do questions dot for each. This question, open up our arrow syntax. And then in here, we're going to do let user input equals. And so we're going to do confirm. And we're going to pass in question.q. So on each iteration, is going to ask the this confirm here. So this is um, a method that's a part of the window object, but we don't really need to do the window part. We could just do confirm, and it's going to do it for us. What this is going to do is first it's going to take care of alerting the question onto the screen so the user can see it, and then it's going to go ahead and get the user input and store it in this variable for us. Now that we have that done. We're going to come here and do a couple of conditionals. So we're going to do if user input is equal to true and question dot answer is equal to true. And we're going to do or user input is equal to false and question dot a equal to false so basically if the user input if the user chooses true and the answer to the question is true I'm gonna pass this condition so what we're gonna do is first we want to go ahead and increment our score variable um, so we're gonna come up here and actually declare a score variable that initialize it to zero and then Basically, if the user gets the right answer, we're going to increment that score by one. And then we're going to alert onto the screen. That's right. Else, if they get the wrong answer, we're going to we're not going to do anything to the score. So they don't lose points or gain points. And we're going to say that's wrong. Save it, and then once all that um, once all that is done, um, we're just gonna come here and <laughs> and alert onto the page. The game is over. Your final <clears throat> score is. Let's go ahead and get get our score variable. So if we save this, now go to our HTML, open with Live Server. And now we have our question game. So six foot is 12 inches. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right to me. What? Okay, something's not right here. 
Oh, true. We added a small typo here for our score variable. Let's save that. Open it up again. Six foot is 12 inches. That sounds about right. Oh, we got that right. The world is flat. Uh, no. Sun is cold. No. There's no gravity in space. Uh, sounds about right. The mailman does not deliver mail. He should. That's right. And next, we got our last alert. Game is over. Your final score is five. Cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.